Hi Fox, hope you're okay today, it's good to be with you. Uh, my name's Jason and my website's jasonburnspreacher.com um, I just want to look at um, Josephus and just talk about some Josephus scholarship and it's in, in connection with the Quran. When you're debating Muslims or talking to Muslims, the Quran says that Jesus didn't die on a cross. Now Josephus says that Jesus died and was crucified under Pontius Pilate. And Josephus is a her early uh, historical source about the death of Jesus and he contradicts the Quran. And so you can point that out in a debate and a discussion with Muslims about the historical evidence for Jesus and use Josephus. So what I want to do is, I, I just want to take it for granted that you know about Josephus um, testimonium. If you read his testimonium in his antiquities, he mentions that Jesus died under Pontius Pilate. Alright? He mentions that. Right? And, and what I want to do is just give you a little bit of scholarship so that if you ever meet somebody who knows a little bit about history and tries to turn you over and challenge you, you can come back at them a little bit, okay? Okay, so, first of all, uh, manuscripts. Uh, we have manuscripts of the... Um, Okay, we have, uh, these are the manuscripts that we have of the Antiquities of uh, Josephus, his book, Antiquities, which the testimonium, uh, the bit about Jesus is in. Right, uh, a point to note, we have manuscripts from book 1 to 10. Uh, we have the Paris manuscript, uh, dated the 14th century AD, the Oxford Bodleian manuscript, 15 AD, Venice Marcinus, 13 AD, Vienna Codex, 11 AD, Paris Codex, 11 AD, the Florence Codex, 14 AD. So these are the manuscripts, right? Um, now for books, chap books 11 to 20, we have the Rome Codex, 9 to 10th century, we have the Florence Codex, 14th century. We have the Leiden Codex, 11th or 12th century. The Milan Codex, 11th century. The Florence Codex, 15th century. The Rome Codex, 15th century. The Rome Codex, um, 13th uh, century, etc. Alright? So those are, uh, are basically some of the codexes. So it re so both books, you, you, you're talking um, from 11th to the 14th to 15th century, um, okay? So if the argument goes, well, they're so far after they were copied, that's like over a thousand years or more, uh, Plato's works, we don't have as many as, I don't think, as Josephus, um, and it comes a lot longer after the same as Josephus over a thousand years when we get the bulk of the information about Josephus um, but we do have early manuscripts um, of Plato from about the 2nd and 3rd century AD Plato was about 500 BC um, yeah I think so uh, something like that um, and so the bulk of the work of, of, of Plato comes like a thousand years after he, uh, his copies uh, and yet nobody's really complaining about we don't know about Plato's works and so it's the same with Josephus and also we have some early references to the testimonial uh, by, by uh, Origen uh, and by Eusebius and others um, so it does even have an early uh, attestation that particular Josephus um, and not just the manuscript evidence in the later 11th to 14th century uh, AD. So I won't be put off by that if the Muslims say, oh, well, it was so long, we, it, the copies come so long after after Josephus, okay? 
that's just normal historiography when it comes to ancient manuscripts. Um, okay, and you can make the point that just because a source is early doesn't mean it's reliable. You can have an early source of Quran, first century Quranic manuscripts, but if your historiography is a load of baloney, it's not a reliable source. And Josephus, here, he is much more accurate than the Quran in historical detail. The Quran is a joke compared to Josephus. So saying your source is early is, it doesn't necessarily add strength to your case unless it's historically reliable. And you can bring that up to your opponent in debate at Hyde Park. So this is an article uh, on the historical reliability of Josephus, the credibility of Josephus by uh, Megan Broshai uh, from the uh, Israel Muse Muse Museum, Jerusalem. And it's a very academic paper. It looks at detail, the accuracy of Josephus. So if anybody tries to turn you over and say Josephus is not accurate, Uh, this this writer is very honest. It mentions Josephus can exaggerate numbers sometimes, and uh, but what it does is it does tell you Josephus sources that Josephus in other writings <coughs> went and got journals and diaries of writers. So what we know about Josephus is he's a very intricate, detailed. Uh, uh, historian who wants to verify his information that he's writing about okay <coughs> excuse me so here's <coughs> here's um, some of the historical information that Josephus gets right The parameters of the walls of Jerusalem is said uh, by Josephus War 5159 to extend 33 stadia, 6138m, 6, whereas in Avi Yuna's reckoning they were 5550m long, but this is a difference of only 10%. 4. Again, the harbour of Caesarea built by Herod has been studied meticulously by A. Rabin, and he finds that Josephus' account of it is by and large correct. At Masada too, the description of the Northern Palace, which Josephus calls the Western Palace War, uh, in, in his book War, Volume 7286, matches the remains as discovered. The same may be said of the width of the wall, 8 cubits, which is close to 4M. On the other hand, the historian alludes to 37 towers on the wall of Masada, War 7287, was only 27 were identified during the excavation. Either the excavators were unable to recognize all the tiles or Josephus works contain a textual error, which may possibly be the fault of the copyist. So he's saying like generally he's, he's accurate. In Josephus war, much of the data can be proved accurate and much of the rest reliably is shown to be so. Um, So he says, um, in Josephus' war, much of the data can be proved accurate and much of the rest reliably assumed to be. So I'll read this so you get an honest assessment. They cannot always be ascribed simply to keen observation. Masada or to an exemplary memory, the date of minor military events. Thus, in regard to geographical data which can be checked exactly, the distance he gives are very often quite right. Jerusalem is said to lie 150 stadia from Jer Jericho, about 30k. And Jericho 60 stadia, some 12 kilometers from Jordan, War 4, uh, uh, 47410. The distance between Jerusalem and Herodium is described as 60 stadia, about 12k, War 1, in his book War 1265. From Jerusalem to Gibeon, 50 stadia, 10k, in his book War 2516. And to Gibeon, Saul, 30 stadia, about 60k, War 551, in his book War 551. All these figures are reasonably accurate. Another type of data concerning numbers of people cannot readily be verified but seems nevertheless reliable. 
he, he sometimes gets it a bit wrong but generally uh, when it comes to numbers of people he gets it right the source of Josephus accurate data the commentaries undoubtedly the source of much of Josephus accurate data was the Roman Imperial commentary so he's going to diaries and information uh, primary source detail uh, in his writings So this is the assessment of the writer now, all right. Was Josephus always correct? Certainly not. His inaccuracies range from vagueness to blatant exaggeration, says Coyne. So he's quote, he quotes a number of writers here that, that attack Josephus. But then he says, or well then they said, the writer says, this duality of sharp criticism, criticism alongside fulsome appreciation has constantly accompanied Company, the scholarly treatment of Josephus' work. It has not been our intention here to prove that he is always exact or correct in every statement, but to show that his data are in many instances accurate and that they stem from reliable sources to which he had access from the very beginning of his literary career. Alright, so that's a very, very scholarly article uh, by Megan Broshi. Presume she's a woman, I said, man. Alright. So that, that article shows you that generally when it comes to uh, archae when it comes to uh, description of his times is generally very accurate. Alright. Doesn't mean he's perfect, doesn't mean he makes some mistakes, but he's generally very accurate and he tried to use excellent sources. So if they try to turn you over about Josephus anybody, uh, you can read that article and get a fair understanding. Now, you can go and read this article, a thorough review of the Testimonium Flavium by Dr. John Oakes, Dr. John Oakes, a thorough review of the Testimonium Flavium. And this gives you a grammatical study, uh, a grammatical study of the Testimonium showing you that the bulk of it is authentic Josephus, all right? So this is uh, Dr. John Oakes, a thorough review of the Testimonium Flavium, and it gives you a, a, a scholarly uh, outline of the defense of the authenticity of Josephus, um, the bulk of it when he talks about Jesus, all right? So that is a, a thorough review of the Testimonium Flavium, posted the 5th of June, 2006 by John Oakes, all right? So, so basically, um, you don't particularly need this stuff uh, in debate and discussion, but it's just a, a little bit of extra scholarly resource there that if you do get into a debate, if you've got a bit more background knowledge to Josephus, uh, as a historian and you can say to a Muslim apologist well what are the manuscripts of his antiquities then tell me uh, how many manuscripts do we have what are the dates for each of the manuscripts you could say uh, give some idea of, of what you know about Josephus accuracy as a historian you could say what is the grammatical analysis of the testimonial uh, the, the, the testimony that the Josephus passage and you could rattle off some of the grammatical evidence for that, etc. So it gives you that extra edge uh, in debate and discussion with, with people on the historical Jesus. So I hope that's been a help to you uh, and, and gives you a, a kind of a way to go to be more resourced on this issue. Uh, I think it's very strategic when you're in discussion and debate at high part with Muslim apologists to bring up the cross and then bring up Josephus and you're on a very strong, uh, powerful defense of the faith when you start to move on to that. Uh, and I've just given you some resource and thinking to, 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 uh, to help you to be more clear on where you stand on these issues. All right, thank you for listening, and God bless you.